Hey guys, just received in the mail an infrared thermometer from Banggood. Um, I'll put a link below to the uh, website and also to this product. So this is the GM320 um, infrared thermometer. So I just thought I'd do a quick um, unboxing and uh, yeah, just basically test it out. So here it is there. I'll take it out of the packaging. Now I have already taken it out and just put the batteries in just for to speed things up a bit. So it comes with some features there with the temperature range. So minus 50 to plus 380 degrees or minus 58 to 716 Fahrenheit. Accuracy plus or minus 1.5 degrees. Um, now this comes with two AAA batteries which I've already inserted here. I'll just quickly show you. So they just go in there. There are other ones with a 9 volt battery but I prefer the ones that take um, the more readily available triple A's or double A's. So. Okay, so um, we'll turn it on. Hopefully you can see the display. Sorry, you just pull the trigger to turn it on. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So as soon as you pull the trigger to turn it on, it will read the uh, reading or whatever the laser is pointing at. So it's obviously reading the temperature of the table here. So if I put my hand, hand up, we'll get a reading on that. So that's showing 26 and a half. Now I've also got some... Uh, ice and some water here so we'll just do a reading on that as well so you can either you just pull the trigger once to um, get like a spot reading or you can hold it down if you want to scan so we'll just do we'll just do a spot reading first okay so let's come out at 1.7 degrees we'll just now we'll hold it down and we'll do like a scan Okay, so there we've got 0 0.5 degrees, which is closer to what I'd expect for, for ice and water. I'll just try that again. Yep, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.3, so very close to freezing point. Um, so that seems pretty good. So what I might do now is um, we'll get a reading at the other end of the scale. Um, I'll just boil up the jug, so we might cut quickly, and then I'll come back with... Uh, jug of boiling water. Okay, just boil this jug of water here. So let's uh, let's do some readings uh, from that. Okay, straight away, just a spot reading. Got 99.6 degrees, which is pretty much bang on uh, boiling. Okay, the water's probably starting to cool down straight away now, but yeah, that initial spot reading um, of 99.3, was it? That's pretty close to 100 degrees Celsius, so uh, pretty happy with that. Okay, guys, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed those couple of tests. So to me, it seems pretty accurate at both ends of the scale, freezing and boiling. Um, just to note, all the readings were done in Celsius. Um, just show you the display a bit closer. So it does have a red uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit button, so you can just change that over. Also, it has a backlight, so if you're using it in poor lighting conditions, you can see the display. And also, you can turn the light, you don't need the laser to take a reading, but um, it just gives you a target. So laser on so yeah, you can see the laser there and then I can turn the laser off but still get a reading so um, yeah it seems very simple to use it does have instructions but um, I had no problems uh, figuring out how to use it um, so yeah that's basically it so um, if you're interested in a good quality uh, low-cost um, infrared thermometer uh, check out the link below and it'll give you the cost in your own local currency uh, back of the packaging also gives you some applications you can use it for. Personally, I'm probably going to be using it for um, home brewing and also cheese making. 
but it says you can take temperatures from hot water pipes, engine parts, cooking surfaces, uh, electric motors, wine coolers, hot ash valve, fuse panels, transformers, swimming pools, etc. Hot and cold food products. Use it inside your fridge as well. Check the fridge and freezer um, is operating at the right temperature. So yeah, that's about it. If you've got any questions, guys, um, just let me know. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, over and out. Thank you.